Common Breast Concerns, What You Need to Know. Welcome to our channel. Today, we're diving into an important topic, common breast diseases in women. We'll cover everything from benign lumps and bumps that are simply annoying to more serious conditions that require immediate medical attention. Understanding these conditions can help with early detection and treatment. Let's get started. Fibrocystic breasts, lumps, bumps, and hormones. All right, everyone, let's talk about fibrocystic breast changes. These are super common, especially in younger women. Basically, your hormones are on a roller coaster every month, and sometimes your breast tissue gets a little confused. You might feel some lumpiness, tenderness, even some pain, especially right before your period. Breast cysts, fluid-filled and frequently annoying. Now let's talk about breast cysts. These are like little water balloons that form in your breast tissue. They can feel like a soft grape or a firm marble, and they might be tender to the touch. Most of the time, they're totally harmless and go away on their own. But if they're causing you discomfort or getting bigger, we can always drain them. It's a quick procedure, and you'll feel so much better afterwards. Fibroadenomas, those rubbery breast lumps. So, you found a lump in your breast and it feels kind of round, rubbery, and moves around a bit? You might be dealing with a fibroadenoma. These are benign tumors, and they're especially common in women under 30. Think of them like little, well-defined marbles in your breast tissue. They're usually painless, but it's always a good idea to get any new lump checked out by your doctor, just to be safe. Chapter 4. Mastitis. When breastfeeding gets painful. For all you breastfeeding moms out there, mastitis is something you definitely want to be aware of. It's basically an infection in the breast tissue, and it can come on suddenly. Your breast will be sore, red, and warm to the touch, and you might even run a fever. It's usually caused by a blocked milk duct or bacteria getting in through a cracked nipple. Chapter 5. Fat Necrosis. Don't panic after a breast injury. Now this one sounds a little scary, but I promise it's usually not a big deal. Fat necrosis happens when fatty tissue in the breast gets damaged, usually from an injury. You might feel a hard lump and it might even be a little dimpled or pulled inwards. It's basically your body's way of cleaning up the damaged tissue. Chapter 6. Ductal Carcinoma in Situ DCIS. Early detection is key. Now we're going to talk about a few types of breast cancer, starting with DCIS. This is considered stage 0 breast cancer and it means that abnormal cells are found in the lining of the milk duct, but they haven't spread beyond that. Chapter 7. Invasive ductal carcinoma, or IDC, is the most common type of breast cancer. This means that the cancer cells have broken out of the milk duct and have started to invade nearby breast tissue. Chapter 8. Invasive lobular carcinoma, or ILC, starts in the lobules, which are the milk-producing glands of the breast. This type of cancer can be trickier to detect on a mammogram because it doesn't always form a lump. Chapter 9. Phyllides tumors are pretty rare, but they're worth knowing about. These tumors grow in the connective tissue of the breast, and they can be benign or malignant. Paget's disease of the breast is a rare type of cancer that affects the nipple and areola. You might notice some changes to your nipple, like redness, scaling, crusting, or even a flattened nipple. Now, you might have heard about breast calcifications, those tiny calcium deposits that can show up on a mammogram. Most of the time, they're totally harmless and just a sign of normal aging breast tissue. But sometimes, they can be an early sign of cancer. And finally, there are a few other benign breast conditions that you should be aware of, like adenosis, which is an overgrowth of the lobules, and papillomas, which are small, wart-like growths that can develop in the milk ducts. Thank you for watching. Remember, regular breast self-exams and medical checkups are crucial for early detection and treatment of breast diseases. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more informative content. Stay healthy.